Hello again. We're going to be looking at a lot of power functions in this module, so we've got to look at how to solve them. And really what we need to do is be able to cancel a power. We're going to see later looking at some equations and we're going to see that you have to get to the power on its own, but for now, once you have that step, let's say you have x cubed, what do you do? How do you get x? Well, to get rid of a power, you always multiply by the inverse. Basically, we want this to become 1. If we have x to the 1, that's the same as x. So if we multiply by the inverse, it will become 1, and that's what we want. Of course, as always, once you actually have an equation, you'd be doing it to both sides. And again, we'll look at some examples of that later, but if I just want to simply get rid of x cubed, put it to the power of 1 third, the inverse. We have power of 3, 1 over 3 is the inverse. Great. This would just be the same as x to the 3 over 3 equals x to the 1, which is just x. And as long as we did that to the other side, we've now solved our equation. And this holds true no matter what the power is. I could have y, also doesn't matter what the base is, of course, any variable. If I had y to the 2 thirds, if I want to get rid of it, multiply by the inverse which my squeaky marker is going to help me write. Well, the inverse of 2 over 3 is 3 over 2. I flipped it, or put 1 over it, and it becomes that. Well, this is the same as saying y to the 1, or y. Again, I've cancelled out the power simply by multiplying by the inverse. And I'm going to switch markers just because that one is super squeaky. But, one thing that might throw someone off is what if I see a negative exponent? So I've got w to the power of negative, I don't know, 7 over 4. What do we do? The exact same thing we've been doing here. Multiply by the inverse. Which means the negative sticks around. The negative will cancel with the negative. And the inverse of 7 over 4 is 4 over 7. So we put this entire thing, w to the negative 7 over 4, to the power of negative 4 over 7, these will cancel to become 1. Get w to the 1, or just w. Every single time you want to cancel a power, once you've got your equation down to just power, multiply both sides by the inverse, and evaluate. And that is it.